at about uh, what pressure uh, would the flea, mean flea path of an air molecule at room temperature equal 10 centimeters the size of a typical laboratory apparatus okay uh, well uh, if you read uh, the section on the conductivity of an ideal gas uh, this is predicated uh, this is a model uh, that depicts that would col that collisions would be would be so frequent uh, uh, first the collision happens uh, when the center of the molecule uh, comes uh, uh, to be uh, uh, w w within one diameter of the center of some other molecule. Um, uh, in other words, uh, the collisions would happen so frequent, uh, uh, right? If if the molecule that we are interested in, that we are that's under study, uh, was twice as wide. Uh, and every other molecule were just points. So if that's the case, then the collisions would occur uh, so frequent. Uh, so if this was the case, and uh, we have a molecule uh, that uh, has a, a radius of 2R, uh, then as this molecule sweeps through, uh, it uh, as it travels through uh, it will sweep an imaginary cylinder as it goes if it's moving in that direction as it goes in that direction you can think of this as, as sweeping a cylinder right uh, that equals the average volume uh, per molecule in the gas okay that's when a collision is likely to happen. That's a collision when, when the volume of the cylinder, right, equals the average volume of a molecule in a gas, um, uh, that means it's likely to hit every molecule that it encounters, right? And the mean free path is, is, is the length uh, of the cylinder uh, uh, that happens, uh, the length of the cylinder uh, that's forming as this scenario is, is taking place. So, so it boils down to this, that the volume of the cylinder the volume of the cylinder has to equal the volume, average volume per molecule volume average per molecule okay and so if we fill this in based on the model what's the volume of the cylinder it's pi r squared we said r is actually 2r in this case times uh, the mean free path l the length of the cylinder and uh, this would have to equal v over m volume average volume per molecule for the number of molecules okay and uh, here uh, in this specific so this is this is the assumption um, and then here it's saying at about what pressure so to get pressure in here we would have to uh, use the ideal gas law we know that PV equals NKT so we can replace V over M with KT over P so right here in our green equation and uh, if we do that uh, we get pi 2r squared l equals no sorry this uh, I need to use big T for this this is not good kt okay so we would get uh, k Boltzmann's constant temperature over pressure and uh, that would tell me that pressure would equal to KT over 4 pi r squared L plugging in we will get uh, Q 
so this is uh, going on at uh, room temperature so uh, that's 300 Kelvin for the temperature uh, 4 pi R R uh, let's see uh, 300 Kelvin uh, room temperature Boltzmann's constant is uh, 1.381 times 10 to the minus 23 joules over oops, joules over Kelvin so the Kelvins cancel out divided by 4 pi now the radius um, the average we could use the average size of an air molecule I would say it's about 2 times 10 to the minus 10 meters so when we square it, this is meters square. Um, and then uh, we are told that the uh, mean free path uh, is 10 centimeters. So that's uh, 0 0.1 meters. Okay, so we could see we're going to get this in um, uh, joules uh, per meter cube. Uh, wait, something is not right. Uh, joules uh, it should be oh yeah because uh, right uh, it comes out to uh, yeah the right units uh, joules because joules has in it uh, a meters uh, so it could cancel a meter so it would be left with meter square and on top we would have um, uh, kilograms um, kilograms per meter square and that's uh, kilogram uh, meters kilogram yeah kilogram meter per second square so that would be Newton so then we would get Newton's uh, per meter square okay uh, so plugging this in Uh, I get 0 0.082 newtons per meter square or pascals uh, this concludes this question